Hey, everybody. I, I didn't, I purposely had myself muted just because I wanted to show out the little promo thing that this game had. I really like it. Also, I like the music. How's everybody doing tonight? Also, Dragon, th th trust me. It wouldn't be the first time I've had my mic muted and I was talking. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, so... Tonight, we are going to continue with this game, uh, continue the challenge and see if we can get through it. Last time, if you weren't here, we did both the Solar Empire and the Western Frontier campaigns, and, uh... I'm surprised they managed to get an A rank in all the, the Western Frontier campaign missions. Didn't that happen in Night 1 of the 3D World? We don't talk about Night 1 of the 3D World, Dragon. Also, I need to turn the volume down just a little bit. It's a little loud on my end. There we go. Alright. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious. What was my scoring for the Solar Empire? Wow, I am surprised I got three S ranks. Like I said, we don't talk. We don't talk about night world, night one, the 3D campaign world. Two, the Anglo Isles, present day. In this campaign, you take command of the battalions of the Anglo Isles. Your country faces a fierce counterattack from Admiral Akira of the Solar Empire and Marshal Nova of the Tundran territories. Colonel Windsor and Commander Pierce, the commanding officers of the Anglo Isles, will have to fight with everything at their disposal if they are to resist this combined attack from two nations. Save your homeland from the Solar Empire and the Tundran Territories. Oh boy. We only got four missions for the Anglo Isles. It, it Present day missions always seem to be four missions, whereas the past missions are only three, which I never got. It feels like there really should have been like four missions each campaign. But, anyways, uh, the Anglos, uh, this is probably gonna be where the real challenge in this stream comes from, and that's because a lot of the Anglo Isles mission features naval and air combat, so it's gonna be fun. The Solar Empire has launched its counteroffensive on the Anglo Isles, seizing its naval shipyards. Commander Pierce must reclaim those docks. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, Dragon. Hopefully everything, everyone in your family's okay. Also here, have some peak Britishness. Hopefully that'll make you feel better. What the heck was that? Uh, I believe the Solar Empire has launched a counteroffensive. Pass the sword, would you come under this, chap? Oh, hold on, getting raid again. Hold on, gotta get the guns. Ah, damn it. It was a quick raid. I gotta say, it seems kind of stupid that the Anglos have their parliament building literally right next to the coast where they can be attacked by an enemy fleet like they just did right now. I don't know, looking through this, that cutscene again it always made me think, that was such really bad playing on whoever decided to put the parliament bu building right there. Alright, let's do this. Admiral Akira has begun a full-scale invasion of our green and pleasant land. Many facilities have been lost. If we can recapture the docks at Port Hampton, we'll have taken the first step in reclaiming our kingdom. But our first objective must be Clapstead Heath Airbase. Air support is vital to win this battle. to the airbase commander the entire nation is counting on you all right so yes th this game the troops that I were com I was commanding not too long ago last week they get the pleasure of being slaughtered by me now although I do love the Anglos they are peak Britishness oh no yep call you guys back
up, up, what, who, what, where? Oh, tank. So, Kawhi Spirit is the person who does the music for Friday Night Funkin' released a new track that's not in the game yet, and it's super good, titled, ugh. Nope, get the tank back there. Come on. Yeah, a second, I need to reorient myself. All right. All right, there we go. Oop, wrong button. I was kind of hoping we'd get some jerry cans. The airbase is captured. Gunships, engage the enemy while Akira's men recapture that facility. Marshal Nova. So, the old alliance between Tundra and the Solar Empire stands firm. Good job we now have air support. Time to get to grips with fighter controls, Commander. I'd rather not. Push forwards and backwards on the nunchuck control stick to adjust your speed, and twist the Wii remote to turn. These fighters shall make short work of those gunships. Try taking one for a spin. Uh, no thank you. I'll command the troops from down here. Tanks got that heavy. Mortars, you do as well. Oh, what? Where? Where'd they come from? I have no idea what that grunt said. He's too British for me. Okay, there we go. Oh, and the gunships are dropping them off as well. So what would these? Uh, so what would these complain about getting if can't use the DQ joke? Uh, I I don't know what what's the British equivalent of DQ? Why are my tanks attacking? Don't they know that all the waste them here is death? Alright, I need to remember the layout of this. Let's see, RPG towers, artillery... Th there's the AA towers. I knew there were AA towers around here somewhere. MG Tower, and I think that's a light tank, and I think down there are grunts and flame vets with their weaponized bagpipes. Man, every single tank here is a heavy tank. I could have sworn that the Solar Empire used light tanks for a mission. Hate to interrupt, Commander, but there's artillery ahead. Lucky for us, battleship reinforcements have just arrived. Blockade that bridge with a heavy tank! There we go. Let's get the tank get the battleships to take out that tank. I'll send the tanks up. Okay, no, we don't need them. I do need to periodically check because t the Tundran gunships will try to sneak up on me every now and then. And I need to be quick on the draw with the fighters.
Come on, take him out. There we go. I think they have an alternative. DQ isn't even in the UK. It's really just a US and Canada thing. Uh, hmm. Uh, instead of... I... What just happened over here? We didn't lose anyone, but it looked like my guy... Did the artillery... Or did the battleship hit the battalion and said... What is that guy doing? I wonder if maybe a battleship salvo hit the battalion and it just sent one of my guys flying. Alright, uh... Instead of wanting to go to get some ice cream, these guys are going to want to hit the pub after the battle. There they are. Oh god, three gunships this time. Commander, you must use your fighters to protect the rest of your battalion from enemy gunships. Heavy tanks into position. The enemy shall advance no further. I'm surprised the AA towers aren't trying to shoot down my fight. Oh no, wait, yes they are. I think. Yep, I can see the towers turning. All right, you guys, get back over here so you don't get shot down. Tanks are good. Battleship, you can take out that heavy. Oh yeah, one one thing I always noticed with the Anglo vets was the fact they always keep thinking that it looks like it's about ready to rain. So it's like, looks like rain, looks like rain, looks like rain. Keep the battleships there. Go rescue the POWs up here. And, uh, what was that? I saw something for a fraction of a second. Oh, grunts. Oh no, oh no. Come on, fall back, fall back. No, you fool, what are you doing? I'm able to get my PS3 to set up to record and. Oh, what did you have to do to, to get the record, Dragon? Because I'm wondering if it's the same thing I do to record my PS3 stuff. Alright, what do we got? We've got a bunch of anti-air vets and bazookas. That artillery is going to be a problem. I might just go in there alone to, t to direct the battleships. Okay, maybe not. Our artillery is already gunning for the battalion. Hey, you know what? Tanks, you go and engage that. Come on, take out these guys. I am losing grunts left and right. So far, one battleship's taken a beating, but nothing too bad. The, the only thing that's really taken a beating are my grunts. And that's the one unit I don't want to lose. Thankfully, there's some reinforcements back there. Good 
Flame Vets and I think a Grunt. Or maybe two Grunts. I think it was two Grunts because we only had three. Alright, hold on. Ah, hand, hand is cramping. Ah. Mm. Alright, there we go. Watch those, watch those. Take out those RPG towers. Did I record with my PS3? Uh, so I have like a little attachment that lets me uh, uh, stream HDMI things if I pass the lockout for it. Oh, that is a heavy tank. And anyways, it, it bypasses the lockout, so I'm able to do uh, be able to do stuff like Sly. Because I always want to go, I always try to go for quality over quantity. Commander Pierce is shelling out fortifications from a safe distance. Send in the gunships. So you know, HDMI much better to look at than composite is. He will never capture the docks. One battleship is hurting, but other than that, uh, everything still seems to be good. Let's see if we can actually shell that heavy tank. I think it might be out of range, though. Oh, nope. Can still hit it. Uh, if he's not going after the battalion, I might as well just let the battleships take care of it. There's... Yeah, anti-air towers, anti-air vets. Oh, no, wait, that's an RPG tower. Oh, just a bunch of anti-air vets. And, you know, a couple RPG towers, which are easy pickings for the battalion. Boys. Uh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oi, what are we going to the pub? There we go. I want to see if there is actually like a thing that has the audio clips of the Anglo grunts. Like I know that there's one for the Solar Empire, there's one for Exylvania, Tundra, the Frontier, which you know I I use the Frontier for a lot of my announcements. Destroy the seaport with your battleships. Your fighters can provide anti-air escort. Never fear, Admiral. Thunder and gunship will form a defensive ring around your C4. Watch out for enemy anti-air vents ahead, Commander. Push left or right on the control stick and tilt the nunchuck in the same direction to barrel. Run, 
can't wait for that to go away. There we go. All right, take out that sea fort. As I try not to get shot down. Crap, no, attack him. Uh, one battleship's hurting, but we should be able to, if I can keep the salvos up, we should be able to take care of that sea fort, no problem. Oh, but we're going to be cutting it close. Come on, take him out. There we go. Oh, almost there. Hey, we did it. Yes, Moon? The Admiral's invasion force lies isolated. Now begins the long haul to victory. Mission complete. Don't get shot. Don't worry, I didn't. Also, Dragon, you say this uh, game goes for a more serious tone. Uh, if the next mission is what I think it is, uh, that serious tone is going to go out the window. Wow, S-Rank. Technique was 100 even though we lost like 6 troopers in a, in a fighter pilot. Nope, a periscope. Okay, it's the third mission. The enemy has blockaded the coastline of the Anglo Isles. Colonel Windsor launches the fleet and takes the fight for the mother country to the open seas. Oh, too late for Ah, no! Or one out for the troops. All right, let's go. Following defeat at Port Hampton, the Solar Empire seeks to capture the Mersey Chester docks. Cheeky blighters. <laughs> Tamo just pops in. Did somebody say sip? And they can't aim for shit. Holy hell. One of my favorite songs from this game, by the way. Then you must learn how to pilot these submarines, Commander. Shake the nunchuck downwards to dive beneath the surface of the water and avoid being seen by the enemy. Now have a go at diving and sneak past those pesky RPG tanks. While submerged, the blue oxygen bar below your health bar indicates your air supply. Resurface to replenish it. How do we record the Wii? I still use composite for that. I don't have a converter yet. Excellent stealth maneuvers, Commander. You avoided the RPG towers. You've reached the frigates. But look lively, Seaman. Enemy battleship on the horizon. Alright, I'm just gonna take control of this for a moment. Sneak up on the enemy battleship and sink it with your submerged submarine. Ooh. Wow, one battleship's uh one submarine actually does a lot of damage to a battleship. Off to the docks and for the worst part of this mission. Welcome to Mercy Chester. This battleship will defend from the sea while MG towers help to protect the flag. This is gonna be fun. I can feel it. The gunship wing is providing escort for Akira's naval transports. Send in the frigates, I say. 
All right, let's see how well the defense fleet does against two naval transports and a thing of gunships. Frigate should take care of the gunships, no problem. It's if I can actually target the transports with the battleship and subs is the real question. And I can. Although I don't know if it's going to be able to get res sub for 28 months. Hey, dude, how's it going? You're tired? Do we get both of them? Nice. How's it? Hope you're doing well, dude. And sorry to hear that you're tired. Ho hopefully things are relatively okay with you. Oh, you know, playing one of my favorite games with one arm tied behind my back. This is gonna be so bad, I know it. I can't even tell where the subs are. Alright, it will transport right there. They don't even show up on the map yet, so maybe they haven't spawned in. Oh, wait, nope, I see him. They don't show up on the map unless I'm playing as a sub or a frigate. Pizza time? Oh boy, hold on. All right, hold on, let me let me kill the sound. And let's enjoy some pizza. It's pizza time. Battleship, battleship, please. There we go. Ah, crap, I'm out of alignment. All right, well, we took out the transports at least, and the frigates and the subs should be able to take out those subs out there. Although, I can't really see. I think, no, th those are jerry cans. Pizza res. Why is this so fitting? I don't know why it's so fitting. If it coincided with the madness that happened during my OP of this game, that would have been even better. Where somehow, I still don't know how it happened. One of my frigates chased the transport up onto land and it became a land ship. And it was there for like a good minute or so before it blew up because, you know, ships on land are not a good combination. Come on, take it out. Alright, got them all. That battleship is getting on my nerves. Alright, uh, I'd be happier if I could t take out any grunts that are on this side. Why is my frigate all the way out there? Oh, this could be bad. Nope, we actually managed to shoot it down in time. Wow. Not this one, though. Commander, enemy grunts are now advancing towards the dock flag. Wow, just two grunts, really? I have no idea what they thought they were going to accomplish with that. Ah, thankfully, I can finally let my arm rest a little bit. We're in luck, Commander. Anglo naval 
I'll need transport and capture the HQ. Escort the naval transport to right. the I'll go with the sub. Be prepared to eliminate Akira's naval defenses en route. Alright, I'll be sure to do that once we land on the island dragon because I actually do need to stay a little focused because I believe subs do show up during this. And I really want to keep my transports alive. And since I can engage them directly, like I can see that sub back there, uh, yeah, I need to really focus for this one. Get down there. There it is. Maybe I should have taken a frigate instead, because I think I can see him above and below. Oh, no, wait, that's the transports. There they are. Let's get our sub attacking that battleship, and as well as our other battleship, as I focus on keeping the transports alive. All right, that's good. That's taking a few dents, but nothing too bad. Yeah, your subs are always in chat. Smartass. Alright, let's soften up the island. Maybe. And of course, the battleship had to be the one last in line. Oh, nope, it's already up there. <laughs> That guy just took a tank round to the face. Oh, uh, speaking of tanks. Come on, boys. I need more gunships. The enemy must not be permitted to reach the HQ. All right, now we just use the naval fleet to take care of anything that's in our way. So were you playing as the bad guys before? Yes and no. Technically in this game, aside from, you know, the, the Iron Legion and uh, Exylvania, there's no bad guys. Like, the reason the Anglo Isles attacked the Solar Empire is because they were misled that the Solar Empire was developing a super weapon. And they feared that they were uh, building it to attack their homeland. So, since they launched a preemptive strike on the Solar Empire in the Western Frontier, the Frontier and, or I guess the Solar Empire, got in contact with Tundra to do a retaliatory attack. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, boy. We're just trying to defend our homeland now, just like how the Solar Empire was doing earlier. Is there a battleship sitting over there? E yes, there is. Alright, if I can take care of this tank... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Keep the sub, keep the battleship, and keep the, the rest of the battalion over here. No, do not rush that tower. I'm gonna send the tanks to take care of that. I want to take care of that in the light tank, and then I'll sneak over there with a grunt and have the subs attack that battleship. What's a safe place to put the battalion? Uh, I guess right here would be good. Unfortunately, no, we cannot let bygones be bygones. Alright, you guys stay here. I really want to see if I can find some Anglo-Grunt dialogue. Same with the vets, too. 
like the the troop dialogue is one of the best things about this game it's just they didn't have to give your troops personalities they didn't have to make all this idle dialogue and there is so much idle dialogue when it comes to your troops in both of these games but they the fact that they went out of their way to do it just shows like a night a nice little level of detail oh wait Where are my frigates? I'm, I'm dead. Where are the frigates? Oh boy, this is bad. We could be in trouble here. All right, so long as I don't, uh, what the, oh, is the battleship over here? Okay. Saves me some trouble. Oh boy. All right, wait for that to clear out the battleship. Oh boy. Is it safe yet? All right, finally we're free. I don't even know what my tank driver is doing over there. Kind of feel bad for that guy. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, how are my grunts doing? Ooh, pretty bad. Thankfully, that's the last of their tanks. Actually, is that the last of their troops? Yes, it is. Oh, right. They're reinforcing grunts all the time, though. Because that's the HQ. I gotta keep the troops alive. Wait, in that flashback, the opposing army kept mentioning a super weapon as well. Is history repeating itself? Yes. Don't worry, once we get done with the angle campaign, you'll understand all this talk and who's behind everything. Although, I'm pretty sure you have an idea who who's behind everything. Mmm. Mmm, I hate it. What naval vessels did we... Oh, I think we lost a, a battleship and maybe a couple frigates when we were defending the docks. That's probably what it was. Wow, because that one grunt spawned in at the last second, I couldn't get 100% on infantry. Having tasted defeat, Akira has retreated to a temporary base. But along the way, he has had the nerve to graffiti one of the Anglo Isles' national monuments. Colonel Windsor shall not tolerate such an unforgivable offense. So, Dragon, remember when you said that this game is a lot darker and it tries to be more serious than the last one? Well... It still kind of is, but still. Th this mission kind of also somewhat disproves it. They s they still can show that, yeah, this series is still kind of goofy. Just serious. I, I thought you said darker. Pay attention, Commander! Intelligence suggests Admiral Akira has used this sector to construct a secret naval project. He's also had the nerve to graffiti Windsor's column. 
our nation's most beloved war memorial. Your job is to ensure our cleanup squad can restore the statue to its former glory. But first, you must destroy the anti-air array at Castle Bergerac to ensure they can land unmolested. POWs are being held at various locations en route. Free our countrymen to aid us in the war effort. We have landed a strike battalion on Imperial territory unnoticed. Now take that castle by storm. Tally ho! Don't worry, I'm sure we won't go unnoticed for long. God, every time I look at the heavy tank for the Anglos, it, it's just a mess of metal and guns. I'm sure we're still unnoticed. Ooh, flame vets. Yeah, tank, go up there. Uh-oh. Commander, more enemy bazooka veterans are monitoring our approach. Oh, this is bad. Yep, uh, working on it. Nope, not the recon. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. All right, that's the bronze side. in trouble. We might actually have to redo this mission. And with that, we have to redo the mission. I was not paying attention to my tank health. I could have sworn it was still like at like 80%. I think it's because those bazooka snuck up on us. Probably should have just, you know, sent infantry in to take out the flame vets and just take them out fast. Yes. Commander. Yes. Intelligence suggests Admiral Akira has used this sector to construct a secret naval project. He's also had the nerve to graffiti Windsor's column, our nation's most beloved war memorial. Your job is to ensure our cleanup squad can restore the statue to its former glory. But first, you must destroy the anti-air array at Castle Bergerac to ensure they can land unmolested. Anglo POWs are being held at various locations en route. Free our countrymen to aid us in the war effort. We have landed a strike battalion on Imperial territory unnoticed. Now take that castle by storm. All right. Sorry, I was checking something. All right, let's try this again. Our part of this mission is definitely the start, especially with those two like light tanks up there, and the small team of bazooka vets. Uh, let's see, grunts, bazookas, MG towers. Yeah, unless I'm taking control of the tank, I really don't see a reason to go this way. 
Right side is actually probably a lot better because we do get bazooka vets from them. Just need to take care of two MG nests, flame vets. Aside from the two bazooka vets up there and the couple of light tanks, but I think those will come in to attack as soon as we free the bazooka vets. This seems like it's the way to go. Whoa, did you see that? That guy just exploded. It's cool. Alright. Gonna need to take this nice and slow. Have another fire ghost foosh scenario? Maybe. Speaking of fire ghost foosh, these guys are priority. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, oh, there was still a flame vet. Well, there goes the strike team. Alright, I need to pick these guys off one at a time. Alright, focus on that. Do not attack it. Where are you going? Get back here! Oh, he was going for the tank's jerry can. Alright. I guess I can't be too angry. That's what I was kind of trying to direct you to do as well. Gotta say, enemy tracking for the heavy tank in this mission is pretty good. I I ask it to attack an MG nest that actually goes after both of them. What the guys, you okay? Alright, I do not feel safe with those guys around. Go for the jerry can, are you? Those prisoners belong to me. Light tank drivers, yep. to your positions. Ooh, one of you guys is about to die. I'm gonna go for that med kit, just saying. Okay, he did. Nice. I'll have to check it out, Dragon. Uh, you can link that in the, in the game chat if you want. But that way it's easier to find. Look sharp, Commander. Another light tank is advancing on your position. 
Come on, boys. Tally ho, lads. Alright, aside from my bazooka vets being a little shaken up, uh, so far we're doing pretty good even though we I lost the majority of my other ground troops. remember which ones actually activate from here. I'm just gonna take out the ammo dump real quick. Oh, they all do! I think it's just, yeah, it's just grunts in a light tank. I'm gonna just bring the infantry back here. Alright, well, while they're having fun, we're gonna go and take care of these POWs. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. There's work to be done. And my my heavy tank got got it done. Nice. Looks like he's doing a little victory lap. Oh nope, he's still fighting a grunt. I think he's trying to run him over or trying to get into the range of like the side guns there. Actually. Probably a bad idea. I'll send the bazookas instead. They're they're smaller and faster. Hey, you know what? I'll send the heavy tanks to attack the the right one. This might have been a mistake. What do we got? Bazookas, a whole mess of grunts, and a tank. All right. I can't see what's going on. Yeah, to be honest, I miss I miss the little trumpet dudes. Like the whistle is a little less annoying. Oh wait, no, there's the dudes. Although it's, I, I miss the little do, 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 do that they do when you uh, ask them to attack. The anti air array is destroyed. Deploy the cleanup squad. They'll have Windsor's column scrubbed up in a jiffy. So the music in the contestants level made you creep out as a kid? Yes, it did. Uh, I honestly hated that mission to the point that I actually would uh, mute the TV whenever it played because I just, I hated it that much. Oh, this is going to be fun because I only get one bomber to basically clear this entire area with. I, I never liked it. A lot of people say that the, the mission afterwards is a lot more creepy, but I actually liked uh, the Contessa's Castle level music more than the jail. Destroy the enemy artillery battery, Commander. 
Uh, the... I might actually have to break my rule here because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this. We'll see how these bombing runs go. But the fact that I'm going to have to... Uh, let's see. They're already making their approach. Gonna be cutting it close. You underestimate my resourcefulness, Colonel Winter. I have a light tank battleproof in storage. Attack! Oh, they're getting Hurry, uncomfortably close. Destroy those tanks before they can threaten our ground. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Come on, get him. All right, that takes care of him. Oh, we already lost a cleanup crew as well. You have destroyed the artillery battery. Good job. All right, they'll be able to handle those grunts easily. Tanks, on the other hand, is a different story. Even though we got two heavies back them up. Although I do like that they're taking their time coming down here. Oh, almost got that one. Curse you, handicap! Castle is a level itself, kind of don't like. And it's for a similar reason I don't like episode 3. Way too vertical, and it's so hard for Bentley and Murray to navigate. Not as bad in episode 3, but still not good. Eh! I, I, I never actually had trouble navigating with Bentley and Marie. You just need to know where the, the little ramps to the rooftops are. Plus, you know, I kind of like it, the fact that there's actually two factions in that game fighting over each other, even though they technically don't fight throughout the entirety of that chapter. Also, it has one of the best Easter eggs in the game, so you can't really say that's a bad level. Uh, battleships, battleships. They are out here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I got four battleships to take care of with only one bomber. Eh, I guess you're right. I still enjoy it, but it, it, it's got nothing compared to, you know, the, the Canadian Wilderness, which, in my opinion, is still the best level in the entire game. Mostly on the music alone. Oh, come on. Uh, I think, I think, yep, it sunk. Alright, let's give them something else to shoot at. I, I, one, of the, one of the other main reasons why I like Episode 6 so much is the fact that it's basically three heists in one mission, or in one episode. Because each of the time you get into a train, that's basically a heist in of itself. Wait, you didn't know you could throw his guards at him in, in his fight? Wow. The cleanup squad has arrived at Windsor's column. What? Did my tanks get taken out by the artillery? Or was it only just infantry going that way? I, no, I think tanks also joined them. to be defaced. Gentlemen, you have stumbled right into my trap. And now, permit me to introduce you to our secret naval project, the Dreadnought. Ah, well, what a monster. And it's 
targeting Windsor's column. Sink that ship immediately. Wait, I thought we sunk the battleship. What? All right, there we go. Now it's sunk. Uh, we're gonna be cutting it close. I might break my rule. I don't think one bomber's gonna be enough to take it out. I can't tank these shots because of my timing for the flight pattern. Ah, screw it. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But we were so close to the end, I didn't want to waste it. Oh, no, we did fail it. And then it immediately attacks the battalion. I could have sworn we uh, knocked its health out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say a grunt was piling the ship. Intelligence suggests Admiral Akira has used this. Who yours, mate? I get to start my favorite part of the mission. Maybe I can actually keep the entirety of the strike team alive now. But yeah, I've been playing Sly 2 since I was 5 and never knew you could do that. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised that some advice I gave during that boss fight actually uh, was helpful to, for someone. Alright, good. Like, it's nice actually trying to find some... Like, little secrets in the game. Even after so many years playing it, there's still new things that I've discovered. Come on, get back here. Get back here. Just tank a rocket to the face. Ouch. I have no idea where he is going. Uh, you guys gonna go for the? Okay, there we go. Not that. There we go. Prioritize your objectives, Commander. Check your map screen to determine the best available routes. You not? Where are you going? Hold on. Sorry, it was just a thing from work. There's something I can tell you in regards to that level. You don't have to sneak around Rajan in the mission. You let the blueprints off them. Every blueprint is a checkpoint and you just respawn. I know about that, but I always like to try and go for the blueprints in one run. Trust me, I've been caught multiple times by him by uh, panicking too much.
Oops. What are you doing, you fool? No, you fool! Don't... Don't be a hero! I think one of my new, uh, newest favorite things I've discovered in Sly during the LP, or like during the practice run of it before I uh, started proper, was uh, what happens if you fail the, the dance and just the utter look of defeat on Sly's face. It's so good. Well, that's what happens when you don't take cover when a tank is shooting at you. Fun fact for the PS Vita version, they actually made new graphics so the symbols better match look, to look for the Vitas. Huh. I didn't know that. One thing I'll always say about the, the, the Sly HD collection that I will forever hate is the fact they ruin the aspect ratio for, like, the things that flash, like, when you get treasure or, like, character introductions. It's just, uh, it's so ugly and it drives me insane. Thankfully, I've been able to fix it during the LP, but still, it just drives me up the wall every time I do it, or every time I see it. Like, was it an afterthought and they just didn't realize it until the game shipped or something? Because it seems like it was a really easy thing to fix. Also, the same thing goes for, like, uh... The other effects, like uh, during Dimitri segments in Sly 3, how you can still see past his goggles because they never decided to fi fix it to the correct aspect ratio again. So it it's just this weird box that uh, exists around Dimitri's fa around like the the face and like the gameplay. Okay, a little time to fix the aspect ratio and 2D graphics. Oh, we shipped it yesterday. What? Alright, if I can take out the bazooka vets, then that heavy tank will make mincemeat of any, like, of the, any of those grunts that are back there. Come on, boys. Fall back. Then again, they could have released the patch to fix it. And they also could have released the DLC for Sly 4, but they never got to do that. I'm... Okay, there it comes. As a commanding officer is at stake. Hear my rallying cry, man. Put a stop to the enemy's advance. Good boys. Tally-ho. Oh yeah, definitely get these tanks back. Ah, come on. Ah, why is it so desynced right now?
Alright, biggest threat right now are the Bazooka Vets. Uh, why am I not shooting at anything? There we go. Actually, uh, the Bazooka is not the grunt. Get the array. There we go. Now for the fun part. Deploy the cleanup squad. They'll have Windsor's column scrubbed up in a jiggy. <clears throat> Roger Wilco. Here are those bombers I promised you. Time to begin the big push to Windsor's column. Enemy artillery is currently preventing the cleanup squad from crossing the Jubilee Bridge. All right. Destroy the enemy artillery battery, Commander. Our chaps are in danger. There we go. That should be a good, like, bombing run right there. It sounds like a lot of artillery got destroyed. Oh, one of them. Oh, that was beautiful. You underestimate my resourcefulness, Colonel Winter. I have a light stand battle group in storage. Attack! Hurry, Commander! Ooh, oh, that just knocked a bunch of them into the ocean. Alright. Alright, you know what? Because I don't want to redo this mission again, I don't really have much of a choice. I mean, grunts technically do pilot pilot vehicles, so it still counts. Also, I don't think we can do enough damage to take out that dreadnought, so it's actually not physically possible to do do it for this part. Ow. Actually, first things first, take out that tower real quick. Get up, pull up, pull up. Battleship should be popping out now. Sink those tundra battleships, Commander. Take out that last battleship, and we should be good. Well, I've already failed the challenge for this level. Excellent. The route is clear of major enemy but position. then again, I don't the think it's possible to take out the Dreadnought before enemy. it blows up the column, because I tried relying just solely on the bomber, and you saw how that turned out. What a monster! And it's targeting Windsor's column. 
Sink that ship immediately. I won't land the killing blow on it, though. I think that that's a good alternative. I'll damage it, but I won't destroy it. That bombing run should do it. Yep, there we go. You have pulled the enemy dreadnought. Maybe had two bombers alongside you. Yeah, that that would help because it really feels like it, you need at least two bombers to make runs on that uh, dreadnought to destroy it. One one is just not enough. I shall fight on regardless. Victory is mine by right! Also, Tundra decided to withdraw from the war, so all we have to do is deal with the Solar Empire now. Odds, we have triumphed once again. Mission complete. Although, I gotta say, this was the weirdest Mario Sunshine level in the I've ever played. A rank, yeah. We missed a lot of infantry. No, that's because we didn't take that left side route to to where the heavy tank POWs were. Technique! Ooh, we lost a lot of troops. And that heavy tank, yeah, that really hurt me. Speed, for the, for the best time, it's 9 minutes 30 seconds. Alright, now because the final mission for the Anglo Isles is kind of a lengthy one, and we're almost at an hour and a half in, uh, let's say we take a small break real quick. So I can stretch my arms and get this cramp out of it, because holy hell. Mm. Alright, I will see you all in a little bit. We'll finish up the Solar Empire, or Solar Empire. We'll finish off the Solar Empire and finish up the Anglo Isles campaign and then ju do the next campaign. And uh, we might actually be able to beat the game tonight. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, I'll see you in just a bit.
not gonna lie, I accidentally made myself hungry when I first made this intermission wall. You know, actually... <laughs> No, I just I just bang it with a hammer, no, knocks the bones right back into place. Also, I, I love that bottom left gif. It is so cursed. It's great. That that is the pure definition of pizza crimes. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. So, as some of you might know, today is St. Patrick's Day. And while unfortunately we don't drink here on the stream, uh, there is something we can do to celebrate. <laughs> hey, if I have to suffer, so do you. So, what I think I'm going to be doing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day is I'm going to take this and go like this. Oh, it's so ugly, but we're going to be going green. All right. Now let's get back into the game. Yes, I, I've seen Irish the Hedgehog. Don't don't know why we'd share something so cursed, Dragon. Is this revenge for that pizza I showed you? The Solar Empire musters a last-ditch air assault on the Anglo Isles' overstretched defenses. Commander Pierce takes to the skies in a bid to end this war once and for all. There we go. All right, time for the longest mission in the game, in my opinion. The sun rises on the day of my final victory, Piers. My airbase shall orchestrate the fall of your vile nation. We're in a tighter spot than I'd have liked, Commander. The Admiral is right on our doorstep. This is where I make my last stand. You will never reach my helipads and POW camps. Bomber Command has ordered we defend this airbase. It's all that stands between Akira and his last big push. Our very sovereignty is at stake, Commander. Pilots to your planes. This will be your finest hour. Don't worry, I got all my troops in the pog camps. God, honestly, I'd rather be a POW morning, than eh, be in a pog camp. I do like that you get the nation theme for their Warriors final level. The solar empire. The enemy airbase is all that stands in the way of victory. Commence air assault. Right. Now, before we start this mission, I just want to show how big this battlefield is. It is huge. Like, it is so big. There's so many things here. There's like, uh, I think there's like ruins up here, but I don't think you can get any of your troops up there. Wait, what, what am I having? No, no, you wouldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, that fits too well. Just maniacal laugh as I burn everything around me because I'm drunk on power. But anyways, this level is really big. There's a lot of travel space. As well as 
there's a lot of troops. And also, uh, gunships, and you're gonna need to be very careful about it. The go-to strategy I always use during normal plays of this is to basically, uh, clear out everything with your bombers. Because since we got airbase right here, we get an unlimited supply. Casualties will be high, yes. Uh-oh. Alright, fine, you know what? I'm gonna get up there just to take out the air transport. But it helps clear out everything. The skill of your pilots is about to be put to the test, Piers. Fighter, away! But but I found out uh, it's really easy for your bomber to get Fighter shot down because there's so many anti-aircraft vets and also AA guns that it's in that it's ridiculous how many bombers you'll lose in this mission if you try to go like the bomb everything route. Or I guess, uh, Scorched Earth Tactic. Well, crap. Uh, but I really could use a fighter right about now. Oh, this is bad. I'd rather take out the gunship real quick. Oh, this is bad. The second fighter should be ample to neutralize your air defenses, Pierce. I'm surprised I survived this long. Flying, Commander. Remember to keep low to dodge enemy homing missiles. Up, oh, I hear him. I don't know where he went though. There he is. And there goes our bomber. Up, oh, no wait, it's still in the air. The final wave of ground should finish this assault once and for all. Air transport away. And of course, biggest threat is the gunship, which is right there. Oh, two gunships, great. If they touch down, hit them hard with your bombs. The admiral will be forced to fall back if his assault falters. I can't see. Where's that gunship? I think I'll be shot it down. Yep, there it goes. Watch out, Commander. Enemy grunts are raising their flag. Destroy all remaining enemy units so I can call in reinforcements. Alright, we're done. Smashing. You held the airbase. Now I'll give the all clear to the reinforcement battalion. veterans and additional grunts are now yours to command. Time to take this fight to the fields. You also have an additional fighter and bomber at your disposal. Buckle up, Commander. Alright. I'll keep those two at the airbase right now. Time for us to capture the enemy airbase. Ready for us, Akira. Fight with courage, Pierce, but I must uphold my nation's honor. You shall meet with ruin on this historic day. If the going gets tough, I suggest you make a victory for the enemy L P O W camp and helipads, Commander. Yep. Alright, uh is that a... That's a gunship. Admiral, this war is one of misunderstanding. I think that's a patrol, though. It's not going after me. Your words fall on deaf ears. The Admiral's is a temperament I know all too well. He will fight to the bitter end. These stones are said to have been laid by the ancient ancestors of Colonel Windsor. At least, that's what he claims. So it's an interesting little area. I say, it appears that the pagan deities of 
rustled up to help Jackson. Don't let him go to waste. Yep, there go my bombers. Ah, the picturesque haven of much wittery. Famed for its gooseberry jam and pickled eggs. Uh, come on, I really want to take out the gunships. Alright, never mind. Something just got reinforced. Don't know exactly what got reinforced, but something did. Alright. Let's wait for the bombers to take out the towers real quick. Oh boy. Should be good. Ah, I'll send a grunt there. I'll just clear out the ten. See if there's anything good for us. Cracking good show. Air transport en route to the village helipad. Let's see, boot up slide two on the Vita, and was doing another run in the game, and ooh, it's weird here in Bentley City, touch the rear touch pad in slide two. Hurrah! These bazooka veterans are raring to fight for king and country. All right. Now, where is that transport? reinforcements are meaningless. No, send anti-air forces to the enemy's position. Intercept the fighter. Lord! Crap, fighter. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. I didn't mean to play vets. Bazookas, you might want to do your job. Thank you. Surprisingly, we didn't lose any ground units. We are losing pilots left and right because that's what this mission just basically entails, but still. There's a tank patrol over there. There's also a tank patrol over there as well. Alright, I think we can handle the tank that's over here if I send bazookas after him. Flames, you take out that AA boy. That's on the grunts, too. The enemy's ground forces must progress no farther. Gunship. Ah, crap. Why'd it have to be a gunship? Oh god, the battalion just got completely decimated. Who's shooting? You. Two grunts. Oh, that bazooka vet should be dead at this point. And one flame vet is hurting. And that's about it.
Another of Akira's reinforcing fighters is inbound. Just want to focus on taking out these gunships first. These walls are all that remain of Henge Cleft Keep, the long abandoned fort of an ancient Anglo king. The area around these ruins is well defended against air attacks. Ah, crap. Nope, nope. I forgot there should be an MG tower in here. Yep, there it is. Really was hoping I could get more grunts. Uh the fact that we only have to do this with two grunts, I don't like. A light tank. Just for the doctor order. Reinforcements will make no difference to the outcome of this battle. This much air transport! Not right. Huh, could have sworn they dropped a the light tank here. No, they were just dropping in anti-air vets. Alright, anybody need health? You're good, you're good, you're all good. Tank is good, fighter is not good and good, and the bomber's good. Ooh, perfect lineup. Ah, uh, almost. Don't you do don't you give him a chance. Got light tank, couple grunts, and a couple grunts over there. Read what you said, Dragon. Just a second. Let me take care of this grunt real quick. Found something super interesting. I found a video that has footage of the Alpha Build of Slide 2 and it has a playable version that has recorded all the dif differences. Yeah, I I've seen the Alpha gameplay footage and I know like some of the cut missions from like the intro level. Like how there originally there was some supposed to be a like a helicopter that flies around, and that was how you were supposed to get into a specific area to to like get where is that tank going? Idyllic lower Thatchford in flames. I remember running through its sleepy streets as a boy. What is that tank driver doing? The cutscenes, art styles, close to the slide ones. 
yeah, uh, also the fact that Neela's face was an absolute nightmare fuel in that game. Or in that version, I should say. You were saying Akira? You know, seeing as how we're on the subject, uh, the subject of Sly Dragon, one thing I've always wondered was, you know how Carmelita has like a different VA in every game. I wonder if that was a decision they made at the very start of the series, or if it was just a running joke at at some point during it. Because like out of all like the main characters in the series, she's the only one who ever like has her voice change every single game. So I always wondered, was that just a running joke, or was that like an a, like a conscious decision? Shit. Not the gunship. I can't see it. Each VA moved on to other stuff like her VA in Slide 3. Uh, let's see, Slide 3 was her first and only time doing voice work in the game. Basically, it won and done for her. Okay. I, I guess it makes sense in that terms. Where are my fighters? There they are. Alright, so battalion-wise, we lost all my bazooka vets. Great. Uh, we lost a whole bunch of grunts. I have no idea where those air transports are. There they are! Denied. And with that, we are done with the mission. I'm scared to see what the what the score is gonna be. Hurrah! That's given the blighters the boot. Thanks to your efforts, Commander, this airbase can be used to destroy Akira's offshore fleet and send the Admiral back. I don't think two bombers is going to be able to sink an entire fleet. You might want to send a few more. Insolent dogs. Victory was mine by right. Suffer the shame of defeat for low Admiral Akira. Kaiser Vlad? How? <clears throat> Something wrong, Admiral. <clears throat> Poison! <clears throat> Treachery! Quite correct. <clears throat> on both. Thanks to your diversionary tactics, we are meeting with very little resistance. 
Excellent. Unlimited power is within our grasp. Gee, who couldn't have seen that coming? Vlad was behind everything. You're, you're being too generous with me, game. That was at least worth a B rank. It, it even gave me an 86%. An 86 is a B, not an A. <laughs> oh, God. We lost over 13 troops in that game, in that mission, and the pilots are even worse. Holy hell. Well done, you completed this campaign with all A ranks. You unlocked the bonus content. Alright. Now, remember when I said that uh, for the most part you played as the good guys, but you still played as the bad guys at one point? Well, the Legion get their own campaign in this. Exylvania gets shafted. Again. And they're only relegated to multiplayer, but still. I guess, I guess it's still kind of cool that we get to play as the Legion. Flashback to old Exylvania, the Iron Legion. 200 years ago. In this historical campaign, you take command of the battalions of the Iron Legion, the army of old Exylvania. In the present day, Kaiser Vlad of Exylvania tells his henchman, Commandant Ubel, about the war in which their ancestors, the Iron Legion, almost conquered the world. It was 200 years ago, and Lord Ferrock of the Iron Legion stood on the brink of total conquest. Only Empress Ka Len of the ancient Solar Empire dared to challenge him, launching its final attack. You must wage war upon the Solar Empire. They want to see the Anglo's head voice claims so I can listen to you. Uh, it, w w I'll look it up after we get done with the stream. It'll be like the last thing. If I, if I, if I can find it, we'll play a little bit of them. If not, then, ah, well, I'll keep searching. I could probably ask the people in the Battalion Wars Discord if they've been able to pull any voice clips for the Anglos. I'm sure they probably have. They have done some amazing work. Like, there, there's someone in there who is actually making 3D printed uh, models of all the troops in this game, which is really impressive. But for now, I do have a question. Uh, does something in this cutscene look familiar to you? I say that as I forgot I need to start the mission proper. The Solar Empire gathered the last of their forces and marched on Old Exylvania. Meanwhile, Lord Ferrock was close to completing the construction of a new terror tank that would soon crush them all. Okay, now does something in this cutscene look familiar to you? Sylvania's most loyal son has languished in this tundra gulag for far too long. Now come, Übel. The Kaiser has much to tell you. Long ago, my ancestor, Lord Ferrock, was cheated of victory by the Solar Empire. But in the method of the Iron Legion's defeat, I have discovered the key to vengeance upon the enemies of Exylvania. So yeah, if you've wondered what the origin of the raid alert is, there you go. 
Of course, it would be from this game, but it's from probably my favorite cutscene. I, I like that cutscene because a, it's the most action you see in a cutscene in this game, and and b, it's also really hilarious that these two armies are literally going head to head at each other. They are literally three feet away from each other, and you only see one person get hit, even though you see them like sweep in the battlefront. I love it. They aim like I do in FPSs. Old Exylvania, two hundred years ago. My ancestor, Lord Farrok, was on the brink of world domination. Here my story begins. Ubel is happy. Ubel liked it when the Kaiser tells him stories. In the final days of the Lightning Wars, so the Empire crossed the border into Egypt territory. Empress Khalid established strike positions deep within Old Exylvania. Many legion units were captured. But Lord Perak was about to unleash a weapon he believed would tip the balance of the war once and for all. My battle station must survive this mission at all costs. Protect it until its engines run hot. I... Lord Ferrok must not be permitted to deploy that terror tank. The battle station must be destroyed. Occupy all RPG towers and anti-air towers. My battle station must be protected. Uh, guys, you want to get in the cover? There we go. Jeez. Oh, everybody gets a partner but me. I see how it is. Elite assault veterans advance. Smash the enemy! Where did these uh, claim to go after a mission? Wait, what? Also, that is incredibly loud. I need to turn turn this down real quick. Uh-oh. We got a bot. Bot alert! Someone killed a bot while I kill, killed this volume. There we go. Where were these guys complaining to go to after a mission? Oh. Okay. Uh, mm, hmm. Hmm. I honestly have no clue, Dragon. Well, seeing as how the Legion is sort of medieval, ah, that is still very loud. I think that might be on my end, though. Okay, there we go. Uh, hmm. Down to the tavern to get some mead? DQ is the frontier, the Anglos is the pub. Uh, th go to the tavern to get meat, or go go to the dungeon to torture the prisoners. Guys. What vampires want? Uh, well, technically the Legion aren't vampires. They're it it's weird with them. So, uh, they're they're like orcs because you can tell by their green skin, but they're also sort of an, an army of undead. Oh god, I am almost dead. Speaking of dead, oh boy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so they're kind of orcs, but at the same time, they're also kind of zombies. So, make of that of what you will. The armored fury of my light tanks will cripple Ferox's battle station. Alright, I need to direct my gunship. Tavern works. All right, so far so good. I I think the smart thing to do is to actually uh, keep your grunts out of the RPG towers because, for whatever reason, uh, 
the the gunships really like going after that RPG tower right there. So more often than not, you're gonna lose a trooper that you put in there. How's the battle station looking? Eh, a little scuffed, but it's nothing too bad. Oh, great. Yeah, probably best to take your troopers that are in the RPG towers out of the RPG towers when the gunships show up. Thankfully, there's only two gunship waves. But still, that's one less grunt for me to fall back on if I do end up dying on the one I have now. Alright, what was next? Was it artillery? Yes, it was artillery. Great, and I don't have anything to counter them. Aside from my gunship. I always found it weird how the how the the legion grunts for I think it's only the ones that you control the weird angle they aim their rifles at it's like you shoot at like a 90 degree angle from whatever you're aiming aiming that thing at it's like the only it's the only grunt that actually does it that bad I guess maybe it was just like it, it was just like a a modeling issue and they couldn't figure out a good way to make it look, and they still wanted to show, like, yeah, he's actually shooting the rifle. So, Empire Grunts would complain going to the sushi bar. Uh, so, what? No, better yet, going to sing karaoke. I'm just saying that because I really want to play Yakuza again. That that or a ramen shop. Our assault has failed. Alert all units between the battle station. So so what will the tundrans get then? Prepare for imminent attack. The enemy is re-energizing its vehicles with solar panels to the north. Uh actually. Advance and destroy everything it's hiding. Oh oh god, the driver's drunk. Oh no, where are you? No, that's a tower! What are you doing? Oh, okay, he was going for a jerry can. Ski Lodge for nice hot cocoa? Uh, maybe. What is that driver doing? Get over here. We, we might have a problem with this driver. Apparently, listening to his commander is not his top priority. Come on. Come on. This way. That's it. That's it. Come on. Follow, follow me. Alright. Thankfully, it's back to full health. Alright. So, the way I usually go about this mission is I rescue the gunships first because, you know, having a having a fleet of gunships is be better than having a, a few extra anti-air vets. Now, normally, because I'd be playing as a gunship during this to clear out uh, the artillery over here, that doesn't seem to be the case for this. There's an anti-air tower over there, there's a bunch of gunships circling above right here, and I might actually take this path instead. I hate taking this path because there's just so many towers and so many gunships, and you know how I feel about fighting gunships. But it, it's the safest route to take at this point, because seeing as how I can't be a gunship to take out the... Artillery pieces. I guess maybe I could try and rush it with a grunt and then just call in gunships at that point. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it. I'll come to an idea when we get over to there. Right now, I just want to focus on rescuing the POWs.
Come on. Uh, were there anti-air vets over here? Nope, mortars. No anti-air vets, period. Alright, well in that case, I'll send the gunship over to take out those RPG towers. Okay, maybe not. That actually kind of works as an anti-air tower. Wow. My gunship pilot is an idiot. Holy hell. Oh, is he attacking the mortars? Yep. Or I guess in this case, taking out the mortars. Alright. Get the battle station up there. What are you, what are you attacking now? Was it mortar vets? Oh, no, towers. And the Iron Legion wonders why they lost. Well, n to be fair, they they lost by a last-ditch suicide mission. Technically, they were on the verge of winning this war. And the fact that you curb stomped the Solar Empire throughout this entire campaign pr shows it. Who is taking out my vets? You guys. All right, that works. Nope. Our gunships are returned to us. The enemy camp at the fortress has been destroyed. has been compromised. Despite ah, crap. Of course it would be a mortar vet. Alright, that works. I'm glad the, the battle station's been pretty proficient in terms of taking out enemies. Wait, ooh, what? And no, I what shut down that gunship? All right, whatever. I think that was the one we started the mission with, so it was kind of on its last legs. Ugh, I don't like the fact that I'm only down to two grunts, though. I don't know what I'm gonna go with. I could probably do that side, but the fact that I only got two grunts on me. Ooh! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna risk uh, going the artillery route. It's risky. Incredibly risky. But if I pull it off, then uh, we won't have to worry about losing a good chunk of the battalion. Of course. Oh, yeah, it, it might be a bad idea. Oh, oh, God, I'm on fire. It might be a gambit to attack the 
the right side at this point. Risk it for a biscuit. I would, I would if I was an Anglo. They say crumpet. Eh, potato, potato. gunship shed. Although I think that might be the gunship wing. Yep, it is. At this point, it, it could go either way. You go pick up some health. Let's see, you're good, you all are good. I think everyone else in the battalion is good, so let's head on out. All right. Let's drop you guys off right here. Let's keep you all back there. I'll keep the battle station... Okay, good. I can target it from here. And we should still be out of range of the artillery. Artillery! Of course, if the battle station decides to just charge headfirst into it. Come on, get back here. Get back here. Yes, you're very impressive, but I can't lose you because if I lose you, we fail the mission. Besides, only one person can be insane during this, and it's me! There they are. Uh, you guys gonna do anything or just hover there? There you go. And I'm dead. Get them all? Nope, missing one. Uh, maybe the battle station can take him out. Oh, they were focusing on that tower over there, that's why. Oh, God. Alright, know what? Screw it. I need to get the troops out of here.
All right, home stretch. All I gotta do is just take care of the solar panels and we're good. I'm really scared because the battle station is almost at half health. Gunship should still be able to protect us relatively decently. If I can take care of the a AA gun over there. Five armies of the Empire await my orders. Once energized, our armored vehicles will be unstoppable. Do not afford our enemy such an opportunity. Destroy all solar panels before the enemy vehicles are energized. <laughs> I don't think any of the gunships get re-energized, so that's good. Where are you guys going? Oh my god, the, the enemy gunships over there are attacking mine. And I can't do anything about it. That has never happened before in the many years I played this game. There we go, finally got over here. The solar panel generator has been destroyed. Only five remain. Alright, keep those guys there. Get some popcorn. Can't watch a war movie without popcorn. Slightly burnt too. Good. Let's bring these guys in. So what, what was up here? I think. Yep, these are all gunships. Alright, just in case. Yeah, gunships don't get re-energized. It's just the heavy tanks. There we go. Alright, over here, tanks, tanks, nothing but tanks. Oh, you're at half health. That is not good. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do, since we don't have to worry about anything right now, we can, well, aside from getting ambushed by the tanks down there, I'm going to send the gunships in because they can't get shot down. There we go. Yeah, there's literally two heavy tanks up against the wall here to ambush you as soon as you come around this corner. It's so dirty. It'd be nice if my gunships could finish off this tank. There we go. Alright. I'll have you working on that. There's a heavy tank that'll come alive. So we'll have the gunships working on that, and we'll just slowly start whittling away these things. Another one. And we're done. Oh, 
in life and ruins. The Solar Empire is doomed. Mission complete. This will be a day long remembered. It will soon see the end of the Solar Empire. You are my foolish to think us so weak, Lord Ferris. War may soon demand the use of desperate measures. Yeah. Wow, really? Technique was not what almost killed me, even though we've lost 10 troopers and a gunship. What really killed me was the speed. Power-wise, yeah, power usually is the hardest thing to get here because if you want to get the power for maximum efficiency, you have to... It's ridiculous. You have to be fast, but I took my time because I couldn't take control of the battle station or the gunships. But, yeah, you also have to focus on those uh, gunships in the other way. Uh, uh, I thought the towers actually counted towards infantry. Hmm. All right, so it was just the gunships. Defeat. Carl Len established a temporary base in a Nerosite mining facility. Cornered, it was only a matter of time before the Iron Lord discovered her army and eliminated it. Ooh. Commander, you shall be the instrument of my revenge. Make them pay for their insolence. Move out, Commander! Oh, Brad, I forgot we were on a time limit. Siege guns! Kalev's forces will reach them in only three minutes! Imperial forces will soon arrive to overwhelm the siege guns. You shall not reach them in time! Alright, emptiness. Alright, I need to remember the roots. So, left side gives us a bunch of bazookas, and grunts, and a couple of assaults. Steam stream's crunchy. Uh, it should fix itself now. Sorry about that. The right side, while there's less troops, uh, we have to deal with two heavy tanks. And I feel like, even though usually I take the right side because I get control of the heavy tank, I think we're going to take the left side this time. Just because all we have to do is deal with a couple of grunts and assault vets. And bazookas. But for now, I need to take care of that MG nest. Destroy the chains to open the gates. Take whichever path you please, but advance to the siege guns immediately. No, you fool, get back here. I need a tank moving up first. Ah, oh, crap.
Uh, there it is. How hard is the game when you play it the normal way? Uh, there's a couple missions that are actually pretty difficult, but the game's not that hard. Like, I'd say the game doesn't truly get really hard until the final campaign. And that's playing it on normal mode. So, as you can guess, this challenge mode, it's going to be really, really tough. The best part about it is definitely the fact that the free aiming makes it easier to pick and choose your targets. As much as I love the first game, uh, it kind of was a bit of a hassle to uh, p have my battalion attack the specified target. But this one, it it's actually a lot easier. They will destroy the gates ahead and permit us to advance. Ensure the siege guns remain intact to prevent counter-attack from the rear as you assault the mining quarry. All right, Bazooka, as you go over there. Legion flame bats stand ready to assist you, Commander. Who is shooting me? You. Stop that. Resist the Imperial counter-attack. I do not anticipate enemy reinforcement so soon, but do not be as unprepared. Attack! Alright, so... Uh, why is my tank back there, though? You idiots, get up here. All right, you have to rely entirely on the anti-air towers. I thought they uh, gave me anti-air vents for this. But I think that's not until we capture the barracks past the gate there. And with that, it's time to run. Alright, you might want to get back here. You definitely want to get back here. And then immediately get shot down. The gates are down. Your path is clear, Commander. Uh, Hold on, just a second. Okay, just assault vets. To the In that case, let's just send a full full. Uh, you know what? Nope, I'm playing it safe. I'll send the mortars to capture the flag. Eh, you know what? Everybody take the flag. Oh, that's all, all but all but the flame vets.
I think a gunship got stuck. Yep, one stuck on the rocks. Yeah, just a second. Let me see if I can just go around here real quick. Or did it get... Nope, it, it stuck on the rocks. And I thought I was a bad pilot. There we go. Since we have the barracks, I might as well just uh, keep my tank alive as best I can. It's invaluable for this final part. And at least I have an unlimited supply of troops to reinforce if we lose any. Oops, I didn't mean to send the entire battalion after this poor guy. No, not the flame vets. Give me the he give me the bazookas. And the mortars. Get the battalion up here, and also I want to wait for that bazooka vet to get back. So once we get him, we can start the final part. There he is. Although I think he might have gotten stuck. He got stuck. Yep, yeah, he's definitely stuck. Just want to do this to get him free. All right, there we go. Help! Help! It's a little cramped over here, don't you think, guys? Holy hell. Tanks are the next to go. I think actually the priority targets are the tanks and bazooka vets. 
Everything else is kind of just extra fodder. Actually, everything, just take them out. There we go. Got it. A rank. Uh, speed. What was my speed uh, for 100 percent? 10 minutes. We were just a little over time. And we missed a couple of infantry units, but eh, not too bad. It's still an A rank. Surprised they weren't generous enough. I guess speed is really what kept me from getting that S rank. Ah, well. I guess also losing all those infantry, too. Alright. I'm going to take a small break because we've already been going for almost three hours now. Uh, when we get back, we will finish up the Iron Legion campaign and maybe try to make some headway into Tundra. I'm not 100% sure we're going to be able to finish the game tonight just because Tundra... Oh boy, Tundra. If you thought the game was tough at points for this challenge, uh, yeah. Tundra is a completely different level, even on normal mode. Alright, I will see you all in just a little bit as soon as intermission loads up. There we go. Alright, I'll be right back.
All right, in the back. It's time for us to finish the fight here. And I almost actually went into the next mission before going to the screen. There we go. All right. This mission, whew, I don't know how I'm going to fare against this mission in the final half of it because... Let's just say, if you thought the bomber part for the, the, the Anglo mission was very, uh, you really need to focus on using a bomber for that. And I still kind of failed the challenge for that mission. I don't know if I can actually go back and retry it. Hmm. I might try it off stream. But anyways, uh, this final part, final oof. Of the lightning wars. What remained of the Solar Empire's armed forces launched an all-out assault on the Iron Tower. This was a fight that Empress Ka Len surely could not win. It also has my favorite theme in the entire game. I really, really love this song. Do I remember Toontown? I remember it, but I never played it. Why, are they trying to re remake it or something? Is attempting to stage an assault on my stronghold, the Iron Tower. This is the Empire's last chance to end the lightning wars by conventional means. Now, lay siege to the Legion's coastal defense perimeter. Destroy those quad cannons. Oh, my God. You must reinforce those quad cannons before they are destroyed. Imperial forces had already captured my airbase. We claim this facility to gain fighter and bomber support. shall personally oversee this inevitable victory. Advance to the airbase immediately. Alright, so it's actually pretty standard for this first part because, well, you're stuck using infantry for this. Come on, where is it? Where is it? I can't see that gunship! There we go. Grunts are a little banged up, but nothing too bad. Ah, almost. I should also probably use the unexploded shells around here as well. I think they do actually pretty decent splash damage. Alright, here comes the tank. Oh boy! Alright, uh, let's see. I was kind of hoping for more med packs. Aside from the mortar beds being a little dinged up, 
everything is pretty good for the battalion so far. Aside from that one grunt that died at the very beginning. I can't see him. I can't see him. For the jerry can to fall. Now, bombard the enemy. Loose the full force of the Legion. Or maybe not. Eh, we should be good. That is the wrong way. Alright. This is the way I need to go. Uh, why did that artillery just ram the tank like that? Holy hell. Oh my god, shoot the damn tank. Thank you. with the sauna used for a break. Uh, so the sauna used for my intermission is actually a custom piece of music done by a composer by the name of Popsky, who is a really cool dude. He, he also does the intro theme to the streams as well. But hold on a second. I can link his band camp so you can also check out some of his other work. There you go. Yeah, definitely check him out and give him any support you if you can, because he, he does some really good job with music. Went fall, fall. There we go. Now reorient. Yeah, I, I really like how it turned out. I would like to commission him a couple more times for some uh, music for a countermeasure I've had uh, in the works for a bit. Uh, well, I say in the works. I still need to actually uh, commission my animator to uh, put put it to work. And also maybe an outro theme as well. But we'll see. Right now I don't think he's taking commissions, so I'm going to have to be patient. But when the time comes, I'll be sure to give him more support. Uh, that's Mortars. That's a tank. I really need to stop grouping these guys up together. Wow, I think the artillery shot that one down. How's the troop? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, we we are hurting pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, 
All right. First things first, take care of this, and then I'll just have my bombers start do carpet bombing the entire area. I, I think it's because uh, it, it's a play on like the German version of Commander, which is Commandant, which is spelled with a K. So I think that's why they they say Commander with a K instead of a C. Just want to play it safe. I really don't want to lose any more troops. Oh boy, mortar. Wow, where were we even aiming? Alright, uh, let's see. Does anybody need help? Anybody at all? See if there's any health back there real quick. Ooh, yes there is. Alright, artillery's good. Alright. It's about as good as we're gonna get. Thanks for the host, Dragon. Alright. Uh, let's see. Quad cannon. No good. There it is. Alright. Let's get our mortars and our anti-air over there and one piece of artillery. Our second artillery piece will go over there along with the fighter, the bomber, and all our grunts. It's really hard to make out, but I think that a grunt is not piloting that thing. I think it's a mortar vet. No and the only reason I say that is because there is like a bit of purple I saw up there. And that's usually like the pattern that's on the mortar vets. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Usually, what the game expects you to do is be in the bomb... It, it is a mortar? Ah. I, I thought it looked like a mortar. So, this is going to be interesting. Seeing as how uh, the game expects me to be in control of the bomber to just fly out over the, the, the landing area for the naval transports and just bomb them all the hell. Uh, me defending the beach, this is going to be a first-time experience. Are 
Alright, uh, let me put a grunt back in that MG nest. The enemy has commenced its airborne attack. Oh, nope. I think the the MG nest actually took care of him. Okay, never mind. Destroy every last hostile air vehicle, Commander. Alright, guess I'll just leave from the ground. Oh, here they come. More naval transports. Now, infantry attack. And take it out. There we go. All right. Thankfully, it looks like we took out the ones that had the tanks in them. Those mortar vets, on the other hand, are going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, most definitely. Up oh, here they come. Thankfully, I think the cans are gonna take it. Wow, this this thing is just coming straight for us. Which one is it? I'm scared to look. Oh god, it's bad. I think they might take advantage of it. Okay, maybe not. This looks like to be the last of them. Oh, you... Ha don't have to keep both of them alive. I thought you had to keep both quad cannons uh, from. Br come on, come on, come on! Take it out, take it out! Got it. Oh, just barely. I honestly thought you had to keep them both uh, from being destroyed. By the puny solars. Legends tells of an Imperial strike battalion dispatched by Kalen to deploy an all powerful staff against the Legion. Cut new with air. That, there's a light tank there. In the prologue, it was a heavy tank. I shall tell you, Commandant. 
Against all odds, a single enemy foot soldier survived the onslaught at the beach. He chanced upon the star. Imbued with its great power, he fought his way past entire legion battalions. Through his efforts, a band of Imperial survivors were able to carry the star to the top of Lord Ferox's Iron Tower. Sneaky little grunt. Uwe does not like the story anymore. Were we cheated of our rightful victory? Then, in shame, our ancient enemy hid the staff of Kalin where they believed it would never be discovered. Across the decades, Übel, I have searched for its hiding place. Finally, I have found that hiding place here in Northern Tundra. And it is in this icy wasteland that I shall take back the victory that was denied our ancestors and restore Exylvania to its rightful place in history. How long was my mic muted? Not, I, I actually am really curious. How, how long has my mic been muted for? Not long. Okay, good. I was about to say. I, I got scared for a second. Five minutes. All right. Not that bad. Uh, basically, what I was saying was, because we got the B rank in the, the first mission, we couldn't take a look at Tundra, uh, Tundra's troops. But I might as well show out the Legion, so here, here's the Grunts. We get a uh, get to see what their... Uh, uh, sorry. What their face looks like. Um, for the longest time, I could never tell what is, like, covering their mouths. I don't know if it's, like, a, a scarf, a piece of cloth, or it's, like, uh, like a metal plate that covers their, their mouths. That's not during Sly. Up here. Let me get rid of this. There we go. But, yeah. Uh, interesting design. Uh, I I can always dig the the Legion. Also, their weapons are really weird looking. Let's see, Bazooka Vets. If you were if you were here for the the first stream or for the first game stream series, you got a pretty good look at what the Bazooka Vets look like. Here's the Flame Vets. I, I like the it's this this giant mouth. Uh, their incinerator right here, and then just this tiny. Tiny, tiny teak people that is where their face is. Oops. Also, they carry a potbelly stove on their back, which is pretty funny in my opinion. These guys, I don't know why, whatever 
uh, reason, the anti-air vets for the Legion remind me of like a Bloodborne enemy. I think it's the helmet. It has to be the helmet. But it really gives me like Bloodborne vibes. Also, the weapon is really weird looking. It's like this like cone shaped thing that has like all these little missile pods everywhere. It it's really weird. There's a Mortar Vet. Reminds me of 13 Ghosts. Mortar Vets actually are the other one that have their heads completely covered up. And uh, I always thought like the, the little eye slit right here would like have nothing in it. But no, that's actually covered up as well. Also, I think uh, when they made the models for these guys, they forgot to put a like a like put a tube in there for the mortar shots to come out of because that's just that's just a, a block right there. Unless the game is trying to tell me that they they pump the mortars out like uh, instead of like shooting them out through here, they just pop them out like right up from up there. Let's see, this should be the assault vet. Yep, it's the assault vet. Uh, not much to say. They're probably the ones with the most exposed face out of all the vets for the legion. And then that's it. Ground units got the heavy tank, got the battle station. And the artillery, basically. And this is the only nation in the game that lets you play with all their units throughout the campaign. Well, aside from the fact they don't have any navy. There's a gunship. Fighter. And the bomber. And that's it. Alright. Uh, how are we on time? Uh, I think maybe we could work for the first half of Tundra, and then maybe save the ending of Tundra for next time, because I feel like, uh, ne next week when we, if we do the, the second half of Tundra, that is going to be where the real challenge comes in, especially for the final mission, it's if I want to go the way that I have been, where I can't attack unless I'm a grunt, and... Seeing as how the final Tundra mission doesn't have any grunts in it, and it's also really, really, really difficult to keep uh, your troops alive, especially even if you take control of the unit that you need to really keep alive in that mission. Uh, I feel like I'm probably going to be having a hard time with it, so I think maybe we should uh, dedicate an entire night to that. Campaign 3, the Tundra Territories, present day. In this campaign, you take command of the battalions of the Tundran Territories. Kaiser Vlad of Exylvania has invaded the Tundran Territories, exposing his search for the Staff of Ka Len and absolute power. The free nations of the world have stopped fighting amongst themselves and reformed the Alliance of Nations in a bid to liberate Tundra and prevent Kaiser Vlad from achieving his goal. Stop the Exylvanians once and for all. All right, you heard him. Let's go. Gorgiesburg has been overrun by the invading forces of Exylvania. In the name of his father, Tsar Gorgi, Marshal Nova must reclaim it at all costs. Never has such devastation been wreaked upon Tundran soil. Kaiser Vlad shall be brought to account for this. And so, the Alliance of Nations is reformed. Do not 
worry, father. We shall start by recapturing several key facilities, including a factory and this airbase. Come in, Nova. I have some men dug in further north. Reach them, and they'll join your battalion. You have two artillery units at your disposal, along with as much infantry as we can muster. Deploy them wisely. Ah, enough talk, Nova. Ubel wants to fight. He'll beat you just like he beat your daddy. Nova's puny battalion is here. Bazooka vets, smash the Tundran artillery! Don't worry, Mike's not muted. I was just letting him go over the mission briefing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, a thing about the Tundra campaign. One of your commanding officers for it is literally the ghost of Zargorgi. The, uh, Nova's dad who got killed in the first game. I already lost my first grunt. Ah, oh, Moon, thank you so much for the sub of 17 months, damn. I heard a thunk on the mic, so I thought you muted again. Nah, I think I accidentally brushed it. That's what that's probably what you heard. Alright, now you need to remember the layout of this area. Factory, airship, or airport, airbase, whatever. And just a whole bunch of other things. The, the important stuff is to free the bazooka vets down there. Uh, Rescue Private Hazard up here, which is just a... It's weird that there's just a random, like, Frontier Grunt that actually has a name. And he's in the middle of a minefield. And it's not a fun area to be in. But usually what I like to do is I like to go rescue the Bazooka Vets, then go to the airship, or airbase. Uh, take that, then use the gunships that I get from there to capture the factory, make my way over to the helipad, get the reinforcements there, save Hazard, and then meet up with the Frontier, and then push in through the city from that side. There are three routes to Gorkisberg, the Eastern Forest, the Central Pass, and the perilous Northern Cliffs. Google has laid a minefield somewhere in this sector. Keep an eye out for it and avoid it at all costs. Uh, I should also mention something about the Tundrans in this game compared to the first. Uh, for the most part, uh, color-wise, their troops get a complete overhaul. Like, uh, the grunts, they look absolutely nothing like how they used to, where, uh, I guess they wanted to make it more, like, snow-oriented, although I, I actually prefer the design of the grunts in the first game. I guess maybe because they wanted to, to give the troops more color, and the grunts having nothing but mostly brown. It was just boring to look at, so they decided to give them uh, a more red to, to help differentiate them. But yeah, where, where originally they used to have, like, brown coats and uh, a little splotches of red all over the place, uh, now it's just mostly red with a few splotches of brown. I am losing troops left and right, holy hell. I'm surprised it actually didn't get hit by a tree. Oh, 
Okay, now they're getting them cut on trees. I see those tanks back there. Alright, take care of those, and then I'll we'll shoot the ammo dumps, get the POWs out, and then hopefully outrun those tanks. Ah, crap. Alright, you know what the hell with this? Really? Come on. There we go. Alright, time to run. Send in the light tanks. Crush those escape prisoners. Alright, so now as long as I'm back here, they should not be able to get anywhere near me before they get blown up by artillery. Alright, there's one. Alright, I'm not going to risk it. I need to get rid of these gunships. Is that in terms of auto guns? Yeah. It's just grunts. What if I can target it? And I'm dead. I just realized I, I have no more grunts. But I did take out the bazooka vets and that's all that really matters. Ugh, I am moving to infantry left and right. Alright. Uh, let's see. Auto guns, I think. Yeah, it's all auto guns and assault vets. So when I say commander, they just mean the player? Yes. Ah, oh, crap. Do I hear AA guns? No? Alright. I think I might have been hearing the artillery uh, shots landing.
All right, and we're good. Uh, hold on, cramp. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. All right, gunship, you fall back. Yeah, my, my hand was just cramping a little bit. Fine, I'll do it. Outstanding work, Commander. Grant, anti air and flame vet reinforcements are now en route. All right, let's get my gunships back. All right, how many do we get? I got. Looks like uh, two extra of every unit. Okay. As much as I hate going through here, I feel like I have to. Just take it slow and steady. There is a set path that is really easy to to find. If you go looking for him, stay as far away from those mounds of earth as possible. I I think there was also another trick to this area as well. Your battalion will not follow you into the minefield. Just take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. There he is. That's our missing grunt. Get Private Hazard out of the minefield double time. Stay close to Private Hazard, and he'll follow you out of that minefield. But watch out for those mines. Crap, which way did I go? All right, uh, let's do... Come on, look down. this thread the needle and we are out of here Commander. Alright, boys. Let's go. Yeah, it's only one grunt that we save, but A, it's a frontier grunt, which immediately makes me happy. And B, uh, every gun that we can get is invaluable for storming the city. Tanks are the bigger threat. Give him something to shoot at as soon as I see if there's any anti air towers. And of course, there are. Shoot at, will ya? Ask for it. Storm the city!
What are they doing to my mausoleum? My final resting place? Is that dynamite? The little red men are closing in on the mausoleum! Arm the dynamite! Uber plans to blow up my mausoleum in three minutes! Nova, you must defuse those detonators! Jump into the detonator to deactivate the dynamite! Charge men! All right, you guys keep these guys off my back. Send the, the flame vets over there. One of the detonators is diffused. Three more to go, Commander. Two detonators are diffused. Just two more remaining. All right, get the last one. And we're done. Most proficient. The detonators have been defused, and the remaining Exylvanian garrison has surrendered. Dorgisburg is liberated. The Tundran people give thanks for your efforts, Brigadier Becky. Not a problem, Marshal. I owed you one from the last war, anyways. How about we call it square? You win this time, Nova, but Ubel will be back. You can count on it. Not for long, Commandant. My son and I shall see to that. Mission complete. All right, what's the score? B? Nope, A. Wow, th the worst was power. Let's see. It was mostly infantry. I think what the only ground vehicles we missed was another piece of artillery in the town and the tank when we rescued the bazooka vets. Speed? Uh, well, 31 seconds faster. Not bad. Technique, we lost, oof, 13 units, and two gunships. All right. Operation Nautilus. Uh, another naval mission, but there is actually ground combat, so I still get to keep a grunt. Kaiser Vlad's fleet is moored in the fjords at the foot of Novigrad, Tundra's second city. Nova unleashes the all-conquering TTS Potemkin in a bid to blast the enemy out of the water. So, this is actually kind of funny about uh, the Solar Empire and Akira, how the Dreadnought was, like, their big secret naval project that they've been working on, yet Tundra and Exylvania and even the Frontier have their own Dreadnought, so it's not really that impressive. In fact, Exylvania has, like, a fleet of Dreadnoughts. That, that's basically what the mission entails. We have to destroy that fleet. Only the efficient application of naval combat tactics will secure victory on this day. Commander, we must find and destroy the Exylvanian fleet. Alright, I'm gonna stick with a frigate for this mission. But beware, these 
waters are swimming with Exylvanian submarines, your frigates will detect them. Uh oh. Yeah, the biggest reason why I want to pick up. Scores. Oh, Blue Train Bandit, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, the reason I want to stick with the, the frigate is A, we get two frig frigates to use, and B, I can see subs. And speaking of subs, one's trying to sneak around behind me. Don't think I don't see you back there. Oh god, we also just lost a sub. Fleet's looking somewhat banged up. I really do want to keep that sub alive, though, because when I have to fight the Dreadnought and also the battleships and such, I really need to keep that thing alive because it makes mincemeat out of them. So I might just focus on having the frigate attack uh, subs and use subs to take out battleships. Nope, not the frigate. Oh yeah, gunships too. See subs are over there. Also, two more battleships. Uh, two frigates are coming. Th uh, one frigate's coming this way. Two are stuck there. Plus a couple more subs. And then there's the dreadnought. Alert! Enemy submarines approaching. I see you. All right, take care, Moon. Oh wow, my dreadnought is hurting bad. I think those subs have been attacking it. Okay, seriously, can you please go for the jerry can? I guess not. Yeah, I, I've learned that too. Also, we might be in trouble. Uh, hmm. Alright, uh, we, we could still probably win this. I just need to make sure I don't get uh, caught by those RPG towers. If I can keep my sub alive, then we should still be able to win this. So there's those gunships. I see. Oh uh, yeah, they mentioned in my about page has much more professional looking graphics now. I haven't checked it out. I'll be sure to do, do that after Stream Dragon. All right, there we go. Take him out. Or not. Okay. Let's see. One for gets hurting. But the other one is still pretty good. Oh, you already took care of that stuff. Alright, well, I still want to go this way so I can see if I can sneak around those RPG towers. Alright, so it's a sub and a battleship. Oh, two subs, two battleships. Alright, so good. Sub, if I can keep my sub safe, then we won't have to worry. The, my, my biggest threat on the sub is the... Well, the sub. Invasive maneuvers. Hard turn.
Oh, this is bad. Alright. Well, the subs are taken care of. I need to get out of here. Woo! Alright. Dive! I'll draw fire. Never mind, I just lost my sub. And with that, I have to restart the mission. Crap, we were actually doing pretty good, too. Well, as good as this situation would allow. Put your away. Put your flowers here. Go join a Discord. Oh, uh, it's this one, Dragon. There we go. And no worries, I actually don't use the, the plug uh, command so much, so I'm sure people probably forgot about it. But it's no worries. Intercept! Intercept! Need a quote command? Uh, I'll think about it. Because you know the, these streams are usually a gold mine of quotes. Shoot on up there. Alright, here come the gunships. To be honest, I've been a sub since first played through Battalion Wars nine years ago. Now I, f now I feel old because I'm the one who did the LP. God, it's been nine years since I did bat Battalion Wars. Holy hell. I, I, know, I know you meant on YouTube. Still, it's amazing just how long I did that series ago. And that's back when I used a dazzle to record things. Come on, take him out. There we go. I think yep, there they are. Oh, they're going after me. You know what? That's fine. So long as the Dreadnought stays intact, I'm happy with it. Alright, just keep them at a distance and they can't really do much against us. from nine years of mic lord that that's back when i had a, a garbage mic like that that was when i had a, a very like old crappy like headset mic uh oh i know it's so yeah things were a lot different back then that's a gold mine of stuff most likely Oh crap. All right, there we go. All right, take up that RPG tower. Any time now. Come on. There we go. Jeez, I just had to sacrifice a sub for it. 
Uh, Dreadnought's taking a little bit of a beating. I don't trust those gunships. Honestly, my OP style reminds me of uh, Emil. Not a bad thing by Amy. Well, to be fair, uh, Emil was one of my... Or I, I guess I should say Chug Comrade. I don't know him personally, so I don't know if it's impolite to use his actual name. But, uh, yeah, he was a big inspiration for me to become a content creator. There's all, a bunch of other people, like uh, Josh Jepson, Tom, all those people. Like, basically, the whole TRG community, uh, they were my biggest inspiration to become a content creator, and I just started doing my own thing. And I'm surprised this game, of all things, is uh, the one that was most popular with my channel. Like, a part of me actually wants to go back and redo an LP of Battalion Wars and Battalion Wars 2. But I feel like maybe the VODs will tide it over until then. All right, uh, dreadnought time. You know what? All hands on deck. No one really played those games on YouTube back then. You were saying? Let's see. Use my introduction to this sort of stuff. I remember watching his Sunshine LP. Hell, he's the reason I even have Sunshine. Experts destroy the anti air towers, then activate this helipad to summon them. My air transports are flying in grants, anti air vets, and a light tank. Storm the city. I gotta feel bad for those gunners. They they're just sitting outside the cockpit with their feet dangling up below them. That's gotta be so nerve wracking. Also, the reason I also wanted to do this stuff with YouTube up here over time, I wanted to be a streamer. Just boob them all over the place. Coming through. I think one of my grunts is stuck on the. Yep, he is. Or, nope, maybe he's not. Is he? No, he's not. Stream is fine. There's a sort of. Let's see. Stream. Let's just say streaming is fun. There is just a sort of wall of sitting by yourself for hours and having to get past. Uh, having to get past for first before you start seeing improvement in your state of eight. Exactly. Like when I started streaming part time on Twitch, this actually wasn't my uh, first go to. Like two, three years ago. I actually tried to stream a lot earlier than that, but I kind of got disillusioned by it because I was just like, eh, who, who's going to want to watch my dumbass play these things? So at the time, it was very sparse, but as time grew and I, I got more friends and got better equipment, it was, it was mostly for the equipment and stuff, uh, I decided to give it another go, and that's how I got here today, and that's how I was able to reach affiliate. Man, it's thanks to everybody here who has helped push me this far, and I can't thank you all enough for it, that I'm, I've made it at least this far. I, I honestly think it's a huge accomplishment that I have even been able to reach affiliate, of all things. 
and, and one of my big goals by the end of the 2020s is to be partnered, but it's a very high goal. I don't know if I'll reach it, but it's something I want to work towards. And if I don't reach it by 2030, then there's always 2040. If not 2040, 2050. And I'll just keep pushing and pushing and doing my best until the time comes. Oh boy, I forgot there's emptiness. Good, him from behind. I could have sworn I saw a gunship flying overhead. I must be crazy. My biggest hurdle is not really having a chat right now, so I had to basically talk and feel dead or talk to myself. Same, just played Nittoons Unite for two hours, just rambling. I, I think one of the reasons why I was comfortable having a dead chat for some parts was the fact that, well, being a content creator and being an LPer back in the day, and still do, just not as much as I used to, but I would like to get back into doing it, like, more than I do now. Uh, with the fact that I just got super used to just talking to myself, because that's usually what I found myself doing a whole lot. And, you know, that's what you usually have to do when it comes to LPs. So, I got a bit more comfortable with it. And, yeah, I kind of have a bad stutter at times, and it, it's one of my biggest, like, pet peeves when it comes to streaming. It's just like, oh, man, I'm saying us again. And I, and I fear that people are just going to be like, wow, this guy's an idiot. W because of the, the stupid stuttering thing. But it's something that these streams have actually helped me overcome a bit. Because they, it, if you could believe it or not, it was worse beforehand. Uh-oh. Take him out. Can't see, can't see. Where is... There he is. Alright, tanks, you stay there. Mortars and grunts with me. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, let's see. Acid gas down there. I can't tell exactly where he is in Tanja. I don't think there's a street this way. So just up and over, acid gas, bazookas, one acid gas, bunch of grunts, and all that stuff. MG tower, which is easy to take care of because there's no bazooka vets down there. All of them are right there with a the gunship, two gunships, and the anti-air towers. Just need a good mindset on things. Exactly. Shoot him. I was kind of hoping I could get through this without losing the unit. Ah, uh, so close. Man, those acid gas vets hurt. I've been trying to get friends to do a call with me so I have someone to bounce off of. Thankfully, Mod and Max has helped me out with it when it comes to chat. And Aussie Omori was a godsend because it forced me to speak up more and have to read out dialogue. Since being an RPG Maker game, there's no voice acting. And yeah, I would I would say if you wanted to, if you wanted like motivation to do uh, to speak up more for streams and such, do RPGs or do something that has little di or lots of dialogue but little voice acting in it. I see you overhead. Get him, boys. And he's down. I think I just saw a Game Boy pop out of that guy's backpack. I didn't think the Axelvanians had the Game Boys. I thought it was only like Alliance sol soldiers. Oh, oh, God, they're, they're sneaking up behind us. I've been outplayed! Ow. Tank, please! Uh oh, I'm 
stuck. Super stuck. Oh, fall back. Damn, these farmers under weaponized tractors. Well, I wish these tractors would get to the front lines already. Biggest threat right now are the bazookas, so mortars, you take that guy, grunts, you take that guy, and the tanks can work on the anti-air, and I'll have the anti-air work on the helipad. And with that, we are done. And I can get my armor rest. Holy hell. My team of munitions experts are en route to your location now, Commander. I think you heard a difference in my voice in Kilcoms after I started streaming. Like, I speak up way more. Destroy those dreadnoughts. Place the explosives at the bases of those buildings. Hurry! Charges are set. Get to safety. Detonation imminent. Cover your ears. Glad Dreadnought Armada has been destroyed. Tundra is victorious once again. Mission complete. I still love that little dance they do. It's random every time, so I'm hoping at one point, uh, if I've already replayed this game again, just all the grunts decide to break out into their little dance instead of doing, like, the jumping cheer. Hmm. I, I guess maybe the naval part was what slowed me down a bit, but uh, it wasn't that bad. Only a, a little under two minutes. Let's see. Lost three naval units, which I think were my frigates and a sub and then I think we lost a anti-air vet and a grunt all right all right so even though it's only 1:30, and we could probably knock out the next mission tonight I feel as though seeing as how the last two missions of the Tundra campaign are actually pretty difficult and doing this challenge, tying my arm behind my back uh, on top of its difficulty, even a normal mode, I think we're going to hold off the end of the game for next week. Uh, now that it also begs the question of what the hell would I do after the game, or after next week's game, uh, if we do finish it next week. Well, I have had an idea of what to play because there's a game I wanted to take a look at for the longest of time. So, I think if we do finish the game off on a, at a decent time uh, next week, I'll probably take a look at it, uh, take a look at that game afterwards. Just to, like, chill, relax, and unwind after the challenge. And, you know, get my thoughts on the challenge altogether, because doing both this and its prequel back-to-back -back have definitely given me a completely different perspective than how I... I still want to face you in Ninjala. Maybe we'll do Ninjala. Who knows? Uh, we'll see, Dragon. I might do Ninjala tomorrow afternoon because I really want to play Smash and finally give uh, Pyra and Mithra a chance because I haven't had a chance to play them yet because things just keep getting in the way. Like how I was supposed to play with them last week. And, or last week. Last night. And uh, by the time I got dinner finished and done, it, it was almost 10. I hit the wrong button. Oops.
dude, you fool. That was the self-destruct. Oh, no! All right. That is going to do it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, while I try to find ourselves a raid target, what's our raid message for the night? Let's see who's still alive at the moment. I wonder, is there anyone playing Battalion Wars right now? While I was browsing earlier, there was someone else playing, but I don't know if they're still playing at this moment. Nah, not popping up. Damn. Alright, uh, who can we raid then? Take a look at the discords and see. Okay. Well, how about this person? Hopefully they're still alive. Damn it. How about you? Are you still alive? Dang. Ugh, everybody's just not streaming it anymore. How about you? Are you still live? Dang. Risk it for a biscuit, that's pretty good. I think we might raid with risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, we probably could raid this person. Forgot to end the stream after raiding last night, and uh, you see me messing with the stream graphics before you notice it ended. Josh Jepson, who is one of the people that I mentioned earlier, who was an inspiration for me to become a content creator, uh, looks like he's doing a Mario Party run with friends, which that's something I need to do myself because I want to I want to get a group of us together to do Mario Party online. Uh, we're gonna rate him with hashtag Risk It for a Biscuit. Alright, go give him support, go cheer him on, hopefully he can, he'll can, he win the night. Uh, Mario Party 2 through Netplay? I, uh, no, it's Mario Party 6. Or are you talking about, like, Mario Party 2 for us? Yeah, for us. Uh, we'll see. It's all going to depend on how stable everybody's connection is, but if we can get Mario Party or Mario Party 2 or 3 to run on Netplay, then definitely. I would love to do a Mario Party night with the mods. But alright, that's going to do it for tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, Smash, Pyra, Mithra, and then maybe some Ninjala afterwards. Then that night, game clearing. We are going to finish up Panzer Paladin and maybe play a little bit of Mario is Missing if we finish Panzer at a decent time. If not, then next week we'll dedicate to Mario is Missing. Other than that, Friday, Yakuza 0, going to continue our adventure in real estate in there. And Saturday is going to be more of 3D World and the War for the Crown between me and Dragon. We're going to have stupid luck in Mario Party 2. Like, very stupid luck. Well, guess what? So do I, Dragon! Anyways, good night, everybody. Hope you all had fun. I'm going to go lay down for the night. Oh, my God!